Hello Mr. Tashfin, I am Anna and I'm very passionate about marketing and therefore I would really like to explain briefly the concept of the marketing mix today. So every company uses marketing techniques and marketing strategies in order to be successful in the market and to differentiate themselves from the competition. And sometimes or actually pretty often companies are using the marketing mix. And so when someone talks about the four P's in marketing, he or she refers to the product, the price, the place, and last but not least, the promotion dimension of marketing. And with this um, instrument, marketers um, have a powerful um, instrument on the hand um, with which they can optimally market the product and perfectly exploit um, the demand of the product and make decisions in this regard. So as a basic rule, you can also remember the saying at the right time, the right product with the right price should be sold at using the right communication and the right distribution channel. And this is based on the McAfee's marketing concept. But let's start with the place dimension. So this is about selling the product between the buyer and the seller. And the distribution can have two different ways. The first one is the direct selling, which means that the producer sells directly from the, the producer to the consumer. Then we have the indirect way, which is the second way. Here we have a so-called intermediary, so a middleman in between, between the producer and the consumer. But let's continue with the product dimension. And all decisions and considerations that relate directly to the product are made here. For example, marketing, quality, the product design, product innovation, um, as well as the product development. Next up is the pricing policy. So all influences that have an impact on the product are considered here. So for example, the price depends on the supply and demand of the market as well as other competitors. And internal costs, structures and discounts are also um, to be considered in this dimension. The last P, as already mentioned, stands for promotion. And this refers to the communication and information exchange between companies and buyers. And the aim here is to create a brand image and to present a product as best as possible. And therefore we use advertising, we use sponsoring, we use public relations, we use direct marketing, product placement and also classic marketing, just to mention an example. So thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed.